starting with this four-way buffer from Tropical Shine, I'm going to start off by using the file nail edge to shorten and shape my natural nails. At this point, you'll want to decide what shape you want your nails to be. I usually like to square off my nails, but lately I've been rounding out the edges, as shown. Once that is done, I use the pink side to remove any bumps or ridges, so I make sure to buff this really well across the nail and around the edges. The third step is to use the smooth surface section to smooth out all of the work we've done so far. And finally, I'm using my favorite side to this nail tool, the super shine side. I love this because it actually does add a lovely shine to the nail. So I'm just going to continue each step on each nail. As you can see, I like to work with each nail individually. Personally, I feel like it's a faster and easier way to clean up each nail, but feel free to shape your nails whichever way works best for you. Once that is done, I'm going to grab my compact emerald nail file from Revlon to push back the cuticles. The next step is to remove the excess cuticle, so I'm grabbing my dual-ended cuticle trimmer by Revlon to carefully trim around the nail. And when I say carefully, I mean it. You really have to be careful when doing this step because it's very easy to snag your skin and cause yourself to bleed, so tread lightly. I'm then taking Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I love this product, it smells amazing. So I'm taking a generous amount of this cream and massaging it around my nails. This product contains natural ingredients to care for dry cuticles, brittle nails, and cracked fingertips, and it can be used daily and nightly. Now I'm grabbing my Nail Magic All-in-One that I get at Sally's. This is an excellent product. It not only acts as a base coat, but also a top coat and offers UV protection. It's also effective at preventing staining from polishes and prevents yellowing. It's a little under $10, I'd say, and it's worth every penny. So I make sure to always apply a layer of the Nail Magic whenever I do my nails. For today's manicure, I thought I would keep it simple with this Nicole by OPI Nail Lacquer in a Phil's Paradise from the Modern Family Collection. When applying polish, I like to place the brush in the center of the top of my nail and lightly drag the polish downward, working from the center to the sides, carefully avoiding polishing my skin. But if I do hit my skin, I just take my nail file that I had earlier to push up my cuticles and wipe off as much wet nail polish as I can and clean off any excess onto a paper towel.
then going to go back and apply a second coat. I find that for most nail polishes, I need to apply at least two coats to an achieve an opaque look. For any remaining mistakes I want to clean up, I grab my Beauty Secrets Pure Acetone in a stiff bristle brush that I got at Michael's, and I just dip it into the acetone and remove any excess nail polish or clean up any imperfections. On top of that, I'm going to apply this Northern Lights Hologram Top Coat. I just picked this polish up from Sally, so it's my first time using it, and I actually really like it. Even though I'm wearing a fine glitter polish, this top coat adds a little something extra special to the manicure. To finish off the look and lock everything in place, I'm applying a thin coat of Sesh Meat Dry Fast Top Coat, which is hands down my favorite dry fast top coat to date. That's the nails done. So to finish my at-home manicure, I grabbed some hand lotion. This is a really yummy smelling one for me to Beyond Belief in Pomegranate Fig. And I just used this to give myself a little hand and finger massage. And that does it for my at-home manicure. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I hope that you have a beautiful day. Bye! For a full list of products shown in this video, check out my blog at truebeautylieswithinyou.blogspot.com.